Good morning, everybody. How you going this morning? Um, just bear with me. I'm just trying to get my screen up here so that I can see what you guys are saying and that I'm all lined up and in focus. Just doing a little live video this morning, doing a quick little um, paint tag, painty tag for the... Whoa, focus. hang on a minute. I can hear myself. Just Let me doing a live video turn that morning, down. Doing a quick Oops, that's not down. Hang on. There we go. Um, yeah, so, oh, good morning, Denise. Um, there we go. So now I can see who's watching and what's going on. Um, so as part of the great Australian craft show this morning, I am creating a little painty tag and doing some demonstrating um, on how to use some of the products that I've got online and in my cool little shop. Um, the great Australian craft show is an online craft show that is happening over the next four days and you can see lots of exhibitors from around Australia doing some really cool things. Um, got some fantastic specials on. I've got lots and lots and lots of specials on again this weekend and there will be more stock loaded into the website as it comes in. Um, I'm just waiting for some stock to arrive at the moment and um, hopefully some big boxes will come in today. Um, but can everybody hear me okay? Denise, are you still watching? Can you tell me if you can hear me all right, love? Oh, good morning, Tracy. Morning, Jenny. Yep, Tracy. All righty. So what I want to do today, one of the specials that I have on this weekend is 15% off all Dina Wakely products. Um, so all Dina Wakely products, which are white gesso, gel medium, acrylic paint, which is what you can see here in front here. Um, I've got all Dina Wakely stamps and stencils are 15% off. Dina Wakely journals, um, I've got a couple in stock and I'm expecting a heap more. Um, the new sprays are uh, also 15% off and yeah, anything to do with Dina Wakely, 15% off. So I will be, um, yeah, showing you how, how to use a few of the, the things this morning. So I'm just going to talk you through creating a quick tag with acrylic paint. Oh, good morning, Jessica May. I can see that Jessica is watching from school. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but anyway. Um, so what I've got here in front of me is just an acrylic tag. It's nothing special. It's, sorry, acrylic tag, a paper tag, um, but it's got, it's a coated tag. So what I do need to do is coat it with a little bit of gesso. So what the gesso is doing is sealing the tag so that um, the paint doesn't soak in and it actually provides a nice smooth um, surface to create on. So I'm just going to give that a light coat with white gesso. So gesso is your undercoat, it is a sealer, it is the um, the, the underwear of crafting for, for mixed media and painty products. So um, just giving that a light coat with my heat gun. Um, and then I'm going to use the Dina Wakely acrylic paint. So these are currently 15% uh, off, like I said, and they are fantastic because they are a lovely medium to heavy body paint. So I really do love using these colors. Um, the full range will be hopefully um, in one of the boxes that comes today, but you can order it all now and then it will be um, shipped out on Tuesday if it is not in stock. So keep an eye on the website as I'm continually updating it. So what I'm gonna do, put knickers on first, thanks. Exactly, Tracy, it's like putting your knickers on first. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to use a few different colors here and start, oops, okay, so the yellow is nearly empty. Didn't really think that through, did I? Um, the, a few different colors here to to create a bit of a base for my tag. And I'm just gonna use my palette knife. So this is called a catalyst tool. This is one of my, everyone knows this is one of my favorite tools to use. And I'm just gonna swipe the paint on like so. The best thing about the heavy body paint is that it 
spreads beautifully and it creates this beautiful thick heavy color so my catalyst tool what that does it's a silicon tool that, that is that it cleans off so as you can tell mine is really well loved and just drying off that first coat of paint there um, unfortunately you see me using the heat gun a lot during this but the um, the catalyst tool is is fantastic because it spreads it's like you're spreading um, butter onto toast I guess so really really handy to use um, and I just want to layer my colors up so the next color I've got here is blushing and I just want to pop a little bit of that on and I'm just going to swipe a little bit there and a bit there and you can see that a little bit goes a really whoops a really really long way and I'm just using the back of my palette knife so instead of using a paintbrush to put my color on I really like the idea of layering it and getting these really streaky marks on it um, I have absolutely no plan here on what I'm going to do so I did get some of the new Tim Holtz tissue paper that came in this is the new typeset paper this is really really nice so I might pop a little bit of that on as well um, so because this is a, uh, a, a a tissue paper and it's almost transparent when it when it dries so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the ultra thick gel medium to stick that on I'm just seeing if my comments are coming up here comments on there we go um, so I'm going to use the gel medium to pop this on so gel medium here this is the ultra thick because it's the first one I put my hands on but it is a fantastic glue and adhesive for sticking things down to your projects so just making sure that that's a little bit dry before I pop it on here and then I'm going to gel medium straight onto my tag like so and when I'm putting it on I want to go over the top again with gel medium to seal it so I want to make sure that that surface is really really nice and smooth um, I love the typeset tissue paper here I think that that is absolutely gorgeous I'm a bit of a sucker for alphabets and things like that um, and then I'm gonna pop this one up the top here so over the next four days I am doing numerous little demos uh, this afternoon I'm going to be doing a uh, Lindy's gang sprays like a one-on-one -on -one, how to fill them up how to use them how to spray nicely and hopefully if I get enough time I'll be able to do a uh, a scrapbook page with them as well so so I've just popped that on and then I'm just going to quickly heat set that uh, just to make sure that it is 100% dry and then I'm going to add a few more colours of paint over the top. Coffee break. So how's everybody's morning going? I hope everybody is staying warm wherever they are. The sun, out, sun is out here in Adelaide. I have had my personal training session this morning and worked up a sweat in nine degree weather it was pretty freaking cold but um half an hour of boxing kind of solved that problem pretty quickly um alrighty, there we go so i've got that lovely tissue paper sitting in the background so i've got lots of different collage papers available in the store so over the weekend, I'm actually going to do a, um, I think maybe Sunday afternoon, I'll do a demo using collage paper. So next thing I want to do is I want to add a little bit more colour. So I'm going to go for this hot pink and I'm going to pop it over the top here. Um, I'm also going to be adding a little bit of stenciling. So the really cool thing about acrylic paint is that I can stencil over the top and create some really awesome patterns so while that paint is still wet if I grab one of my stencil girl stencils so this is uh, and these are stencils all 15% off this weekend as well um, what I like about this is it's just got like obscure sort of patterns on it I can use a baby wipe polish that over the top 
and it's going to leave a beautiful stenciled pattern. So I'm not too sure if you can see that at all. Creates something really, really interesting there. So um, with the postage at the moment, my stencil girl order is still on the way in as well. So I'm hoping to get that in the next day or so. It's saying that it's landed in Australia, so I'll be uploading lots and lots and lots of stencils to the website very shortly. Um, but I've created this really interesting pattern in the back. So to add a little bit more definition, I have got marine and I've got my little paint palette here and I'm just gonna squeeze a little paint on. So these are the Montmartre paint palettes. And what I like about using these is it's like a little paint area where it's for those clean freaks, if you don't like to get your glass mat dirty, you can just throw your piece of paper in the bin. So they are also available on my online store. Now I'm just gonna use my finger and pop a little paint straight over that edge there through my stencil. Now I could use a, a, a sponge, a latex sponge or a, um, a blending tool. That would work really, really well if I could put my hands on one. But I can't put my hands on one right now because I really didn't think this through. And I can just blend that out. Using my baby wipe, I can then just touch over the top and what's happening is taking off that heavy paint and pushing it towards the edge of the stencil and creating a really dusty sort of effect. So that's coming along quite nicely and you can just wipe clean your paint palette as well if you were that way inclined. Um, so I'm on the right track here. I'm creating something really interesting is the word because I have no plan. Um, and I can add a little bit of stamping as well. So stamping, I have got my Paper Rose stamp. Stamps are 15% off this weekend as well. Um, hello to Tanner. I can see you there watching me. How are you this morning? Um, and I do apologize if the, um, if my Wi-Fi goes a little bit blurry every now and again, it's, I'm in the shed in the studio and um, got the curtain closed so the Wi-Fi signal's a little low. Um, but back to what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna create some, stent uh, some stamping in the background. This is what I'm looking at. So you can see the stencil, the acrylic paint um, holds the color beautifully. I've got my tissue paper in the background, um, but I'm creating a background. I'm not creating a super focal point or anything like that. I'm, I'm creating something really, really pretty. Um, before I put my stamping on, I might just add a little bit of white. So instead of adding white paint, I'm gonna use a little bit of gesso, just like white paint. And what I'm gonna do is just tone down some of this. So I'm just using the top of my brush and toning it down a little. Um, and using, yeah, there we go. Because I have got some chipboard I want to put on. So all of my elements, I'm not getting rid of them or, or getting like taking them off the page at all or covering them up. I'm just dulling them down a little. Whoops, I've got gesso everywhere here. Baby wipe. Baby wipe. Crafter's best friend. Okay, so because I put on a really, really thin coat, that won't take too long to dry. Morning, Nicola. How are you this morning? Um, I can see a few of you watching there. And Tina. Better be lovely and cold down in the southeast of South Australia at the moment. Would have been a very cool morning down there. Um, Tracy. Cool stencil. Love the randomness. Yeah, that is one of my favourite stencils to use. You can tell that it's really well used um, because it is so random. And it's a real multi-use sort of stencil. So I do have some of those in stock. If you look under Stencil Girl in the Stencils um, tab on my website. All right, so back to this cool stamp. So I designed this stamp because I wanted something that um, 
was a real multi-use so you could use it on all sorts of different pages i'm using black archival ink because black archival ink is permanent so that is my go-to ink for everything so i'm just going to off stamp so putting it on like that you notice i don't have it on a block i don't want it on a block i really want to have it uh like as a a random sort of stamp um tina <laughs> bloody cold thank you for the yeah it is i suspect it would be awfully cold down in the southeast but it's lovely and sunny here in radelaide today so not that i'll see much of it all right so you can see what's happening i'm popping a little bit of stamping over the top of that gesso over that acrylic paint and it's creating a really nice simple background so this sort of technique would look amazing in an art journal page on a scrapbook page on a on a card front something like that and it's super easy you can quite easily build on it from here so as an example i have got a white area here that i could put a a big sentiment on or find a stamped image and cut that out and put that on same thing here i could quite easily do that but what i'm going to do is i have got this chipboard this is a celebrate chipboard that is available in the store this one has got no name on it because that would be way too easy um, but these are really cool and they will color really quickly so what i'm going to do and they take acrylic paint paint beautifully so that'll work well cut that baby off there cut that baby off there and oh god here we go do i want that one yeah why not and then i can give those a quick coat of paint so because i have got a a, a background here in pinks and oranges and yellows i'm going to pop a flower here a flower here and a flower here before I put on a sentiment, but I'm going to need to make sure that they stand out and I do them in a different color. So instead of, I reckon I will do them in turquoise. So I've got a nice bright color here. Oh, why are my paints all blocked? Because I haven't used them. Plan B, there we go. Now, uh, yes, I could use a paintbrush, but no, I'm not going to because, you know, let's be honest, that would be too easy. Um, and I can put less paint on if I use my finger and it won't take so long to dry. And because it is a heavy bodied acrylic paint, it's giving it a really, really lovely coat. It doesn't need two or three coats of paint because it's putting on a really nice coat to start with. Oh, that's a lot. All right, so while I'm doing that, um, some of you may noticed I announced last night that I've got a new art journal class coming up. Uh, next weekend, I'm teaching a two-class workshop over one day. It's a four-and-a-half to five-hour class, and it is a multi-page art journal. Uh, so we art journal page so it's going to be really fun it's all acrylic stamps and stencils and doodling um, and suitable for everybody uh, so that you'll find some more information on that particular class under art uh, under classes on the website so when you're up there on the website shopping up a storm you will be able to have a bit of a look there and see what's available um so the class is great and the good thing about it is is you can access it at any time so if you're not you don't have a um you're not you're not around next saturday that's okay you don't have to do it on saturday you can leave it and catch up and do it a little bit later so that is the good thing about doing these lovely online classes and even if you're not here in australia um, you're in, you're one of those lovely New Zealand ladies. You can join in at any time. So that's really cool. All right. So you can see here that my chipboard has got a really nice coat of paint on it using the turquoise. 
Um, sorry, I'm not quite sure why my little video, my screen is skipping here, but it's like I'm having a bit of a seizure, but you know, anyway. Um, so what I wanna do is I'm going to put these on. So there's two ways that I could put it onto my tag. I could use my go-to glue, which is the puzzle glue. Um, by the way, adhesives, all adhesives are 15% off. So good time to stock up on double-sided tape, silicon tape, foam tape, thick tape, thin tape, glues, your puzzle glue, which is my, um, everyone knows is my favorite glue to use because it's got a super fine nozzle. Um, I bring it in from Poland. You know, why would I do things by halves, let's be honest. Um, but what I wanna do is I'm gonna use my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher, my, what I used to think was the most overpriced stapler on the market, but it's not. It's bloody wonderful because it does these cute little staples and I really, really love that it does tiny little staples. So. I've got, I think, three or four of those on the shelf at the moment. So what I wanna do is I'm just gonna staple this on. Quick and easy it's supposed to be. This isn't supposed to be hard work. And this one up here, staple, 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 beautiful. And because we have to do things in threes and it's got to be balanced, gonna pop that one there yeah why not so I love that my staples become embellishments as well with a project like this that is really quite simple um, and I don't want too many embellishments because there's a lot going on in the background I can keep that lovely and simple so they're all stapled on what I want to do last but not least is add a little bit of black doodling. Um, so I have got a selection here of the Pentor paint pens. Um, most of you know that I love these these paint pens. I have I love that they are a really high pigment. They've got more pigment in them than Posca pens do. Um, and this is a fine black one. They come in a huge, huge, huge range of colors. They're only five bucks each. That's the best thing about them, I think. They're so, so cheap. Um, so you'll find those on the website under pens and pencils. Um, but all going to plan, if I give that a really good shake, this should start working straight away. So I have them in ultra fine. Look at that, beautiful. I have them in ultra fine or extra fine, they call it, fine and medium. The fine and the medium are the, the size that I use the most. I find that that is, is, works perfect for me. Um, the colors, I've got, a, I've got a good range of colors there and they are absolutely gorgeous. They are my go-to paint pen. Thrown all my Poscas out, gone baby. This is my favorite one to use. So doing a little bit of doodling on here, I can, um, do some drawing or some bits and pieces. But what I wanna do last but not least is I'm going to, sorry, just had to step away from my camera for a sec. I'm going to add a, a transparent title. So these are the transparencies on the Scrap FX transparencies that are available online. And a lot of people have asked me how to use them because they are transparent. So this, I think, these are the art journal phrases and they have got the, the, the coolest phrases on them. They're $3 each um, and they're great to go on absolutely everything. Because I've got words and typeset on my tag, I want to be using words and typeset as my focal point. So I'm going to use this Let's make things happen. So I'm going to cut that out with my scissors. And there's two ways of putting this onto the project because it is clear. If I use glue or gel medium, of course, you're going to see that underneath it. So I can use a little bit of glossy accents and put under here and under here because that dries lovely and clear. 
but I'm going to use my stapler to put it on because I want it to be an embellishment. So I'm going to pop that there like so and just staple it on. I've used staples as an embellishment in other spots. I'm just going to slide that underneath there. Oh, whoops. Okay, so apparently that paint wasn't dry. But because it's wet, I can just clean it off with the baby wipe. All right. So quick, simple, and easy little tag. Um, I love these sentiments. These are just fantastic, and they look so good on your art journals and pages, your cards, etc. You'll find those under the scrap effects heading on the website. Oh no, I've frozen. Hang on. Sorry. Um, and yeah, I've, um, yeah, there's lots and lots of things that you can have a look at throughout my website. I specialize in, I like to have things on there that are different to how everybody else has got them. Oh no, I've frozen again. Sorry guys. Okay, so, um, but I'm nearly done. So this weekend there is. 15% off Lindy's Gang products, 15% off stamps and stencils, 15% off all adhesives, um, Dina Wakely products you'll find 15% off, and all paper collections are also 15% off. So today I've used the typeset tissue paper.